Hi, this is Liz, Liz Head, EC Head Training Workshops, EC Head Notary Training Workshops. Just dropped by to talk a little bit about how to get your money. Now, we as independent contractors know that we have to make arrangements to collect our money when people don't pay us. So I just want to mention to you two things that you might want to consider for getting your money. One is a lot of people use Legal Shield. They have a membership with Legal Shield. So when need be, they get uh, an attorney to write a letter saying, give me my money. The other thing is to do a collection letter yourself. Now, let me just talk a little bit about when we do our signings. That's exactly what we're doing. We're signing the documents. We are not closing the loans. There is a difference between your loan signing and the loan actually closing. So we do the signing. We collect the signatures and we notarize the signatures. Then that package goes to the title company. The title company then closes out that loan. They send the money to the places where the money needs to go, one being to us or to our hiring company who then pays us. And also they are sending documents to the place where they need to send them. They're dispersing the documents. They are dispersing the funds. So the loan hasn't actually closed when you complete that signing. Now, what happens if you complete the signing, but the loan never closes? Well, that should not be our responsibility. That should not be something that we as loan signing agents have to worry about as long as we have done what we're supposed to do in order to get that loan signed, get the document signed, then that's where our job ends. It's up to the title company to determine how to pay us in the event a loan doesn't close. That's also true if a title company does not pay a signing service who we are contracted with. It's not our responsibility to go to the title company to get that money. It's our responsibility to get that money from the hiring company. Because it could be the title company paid the hiring company. However, the hiring company did not pay you. So what I suggest is that you do make uh, collections a part of your uh, business plan. You will want to know what you're going to do in the event a signing service or a title company do, do not follow through on the contract that you've signed with them, which will indicate when you will be paid. And typically it could be, you will be paid within a few days, you will be paid bi-weekly, you will be paid in 30 days, 45 days, 60 days, whatever. You wanna know what the terms of the payment uh, the payment from that hiring company uh, look like. So read your contracts that you get with them. And what I do is I use a collection letter. Uh, you can find sample collection letters on uh, NNA's website. You can find it on just about any credit report uh, website. You can find it, just Google uh, collection letters and you will get some samples that you can use. And then you just manipulate that letter to say what you want it to say. I also caution you, do not make idle threats. If you put something in your collection letter that you will do, or if you have your attorney put something in a letter that you will do, make sure you are prepared to follow through. For me, when my payments are late, I send a note saying, please remit payment. That's it, plain, simple. I don't need to flower it up or anything like that. Please remit payment. If I do, do not get my payment, say in two weeks, then I start my collection process. I'm going to send that first collection letter. I will wait about two weeks. If I haven't heard from them, I will send that second collection letter. In that second collection letter, now I'm telling them what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do, if it's in the area where I am or within, say, 50 miles, I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to drive to their offices if they have an office location. And then I will sit there and wait until they cut me a check. Now let's say that it's out of the city, I mean out of the out of the state 
or beyond 50 miles, then what I will do is just to schedule myself a little flight, hop on that flight, go to a uh, small claims court. That means I got to have an overnight stay. So not only am I now looking for my money, but I'm looking for my, my flight reimbursement. I'm looking for hotel reimbursement. I'm looking for food reimbursement. I'm looking for all travel expenses, even parking my car, the parking at the parking spot. I want my money. I did the work. I want my money. So just know you are entitled to your money. And if they tell you, oh, well, the loan didn't close and we didn't get paid for it, not my problem. I need my money. So they need to have something set aside so that if they do not get paid on a file, you still get paid because you did the work. Now, that's just my opinion. And then, of course, you have to decide what's going to work best for your business. The last thing that I do, if they do not pay me, no, if they're slow payers, then once I get my money, I will block them to make sure I do not take any more work from them. But if you've got money out, don't block them until you get all of your money. Then you block them. You just don't take any assignments from them in the meantime. So that's my nugget on getting your money. You need to get paid. You've done the work. So again, this is Liz Head, EC Head Consulting, EC Head Notary Training Workshops. Hope you will join us for some of our classes. Visit my website at www.echeadconsulting.com. Navigate to the Workshops tab for a list of the classes and the pricing. Y'all make it a great day. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.